morning everyone <clears throat> my name is Alex welcome here in our channel and today nine days to go and it's Christmas so everyone's preparing for the coming of Santa Claus now I'll be your Santa for today because I'll be bringing you the wonderful news that is brought to us by PCN or preferred currency news now I'm sure you'll be excited and you'll be hearing a wonderful and interesting news for today okay so let's start <coughs> news for today switzerland to relax laws to accommodate blockchain and cryptocurrency startups the swiss government has announced a new legislative approach to blockchain regulation in an official report the document recognizes the technology as one of the most important recent developments for the financial sector in stimulating the country's economy as with innovation paradise. According to the report, the Swiss Federal Council's main focus is on ensuring the integrity and reputation of Switzerland as a financial center and on better positioning to, of the country to exploit the opportunities offered by digitalization. The government's plan is to create the best possible legal framework conditions so the country can continue to evolve as a leading and sustainable destination for fintech, blockchain, and innovative companies in a number of fields. Although the report discusses the risk of cryptocurrencies being used for illegal purposes, like the financing of terrorism, it maintains a positive attitude towards the technology. Noting that the country's law should be amended to recognize encrypted digital tokens that are not backed by any physical assets. The Federal Council also made clear that it wants decentralized financial transactions to have a place in the legal code. <coughs> a lighter touch. The report mentions a proposal to give discretionary powers to the Swiss Financial Market Supervisory Authority, or FINMA, to loosen regulations affecting decentralized securities trading platforms as long as their activities do not harm investors. This regulatory approach uh, circumvents current legislation enacted so as to be aligned with the EU's position on the subject. Swiss economist Lucius Mecher expressed his belief that this approach to legislation could prove a much more effective in a written statement saying, This shows once again how the traditional Swiss approach of having principle-based laws that give a lot of discretion to citizens and regulatory agencies are much more innovation-friendly than over overly detailed European-style laws. Switzerland has decided to achieve these objectives without creating a slew of new laws, opting instead to adapt to current legislation to incorporate new technological developments. Mattia Rattaghi, spokesman of Regulatory Matters at the Crypto Valley Association, commented on the association's stance on these announcements. We feel that this approach best represents the principle of technological ne neutrality and is in line with a position taken by the CVA in the consultation process. Crucially, this approach ensures a maximum cons consistency within the current legal framework while keeping it principle-based and flexible, while allowing changes to be adopted on a need-to-regulate basis. <clears throat> now, for proposed changes. Um, guys, Switzerland's Federal Council's report outlined several modifications to the country's laws but clarifies that there are no intentions to immediately change financial or insurance industry-related laws as it considers that blockchain technology is still it, its fancy. When it comes to these sectors, the most important legislative changes proposed so far include First, amending the Collective Investment Schemes Act, Act, I mean Schemes Act to include a new type of limited qualified investment funds with the intention of placing future innovative products on the market in a more time and cost effective way. Start recognizing data as an asset by changing company bankruptcy laws. This would allow Swiss courts to handle and properly distribute digital assets when solving legal disputes. 
Why didn't the Anti-Money Laundering Act to include decentralized exchanges and allow law enforcement to dispose of third-party digital assets? Creating new authorization categories to give FINA um, FINMA discretion to loosen regulations for decentralized securities traders and exchanges based in Switzerland. Amending the Financial Institutions Act and the Financial Market Infrastructure Law to make them more flexible towards blockchain initiatives. All right. Now, <clears throat> guys, I want to know what do you think about Switzerland's regulatory stance on cryptocurrencies? Okay. Let us know on the comment section below. Okay. So, guys, that has been the update and news for today. Again, it's brought to us by PCN or Preferred Currency News. Now, I know that you want to be the first one to get notified. So, please visit PreferredCurrency.News and subscribe now. In subscribing, you can use your PayPal for monthly recurring that's only $15 per month fiat. Or you can use the Coinbase option for only $180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto. Okay. Now, guys, <clears throat> maybe you're you're wondering what will i be getting with the 15 dollars per month fiat right i will show you our newsletter so <clears throat> here is an example of a newsletter that you'll be um, getting if you subscribe to pcn now you will be getting a new a newsletter via email 12 hours before we share or we give information here in our youtube channels so let me show you so this is the newsletter of course on the first part are the featured news or articles for today oh this is just an example okay now don't worry because even though there are one or two featured news when you click continue reading then it will take you to the page where there will be a lot of news for you to read so you can choose either one one of these so there's a lot here all right, now going back, yeah, hey, yes, guys, Telegram group. We have a Telegram, free public Telegram group that you can join in which we can talk together, right? There are a lot of people out there. We can discuss about EOS. We can discuss about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and, of course, the new trends. Okay, and we also give um, choices. For example, these websites that we are we we are posting here, that you can check out if um, maybe you are asking what website is the best for me to add my listings. What what website um, is the best for for news and current updates? There's a lot, and you can also find a website here where you can um, earn some eos or earn some cryptocurrencies and websites where you can spend them okay <clears throat> and let me introduce to you the donald's research list it's one of the most unique feature in our newsletter that no one can have okay because donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet only here at pcn or preferred currency news now <clears throat> just click open spreadsheet and it will take you to this sheet okay now this is the dollars research list it's a list it's a complete list of tokens and coins and their status okay now it is being updated by donald lewis himself so that you know he knows that it is very important for us to keep track of the tokens and coins and their statuses every day okay now um let me show you on these first column right here, these are the names of the tokens and coins. And there's a lot, actually. So I'll be giving you some samples. Okay. Now, the colors have a meaning. Like red, when you can see red, it means negative news. Orange and tan are neutral. Yellow or fair. Green have good news. Blue are showing the best news. So again, when you subscribe to PCN, you can have a copy of the Donald's research list. But for everybody's information, this sheet is not a recommendation to buy or sell any token or coin because we are not financial advisors. So we would like to highly recommend that you must do your own research. And then you can decide afterwards. But if you like 
then we specify by colors or through colors what are those tokens or coins that have the best right that have the best status or is showing the good news so maybe you might want to consider them for you know prioritize them in your research okay so first up let's talk about bitcoin since bitcoin is the number one coin here and um, it's showing the best news. So Bitcoin's recent price as of December 15, 2018, it's 3,217.75576839. Share of total market volume. Take note, it's not capital. It's 37.10%. Google searches compared to the past seven days, it's 57%. It's crossing down 50 for SMA movement. Number of positive technical indicators, 3. For 24 hours, 7 days, and 30 days volume versus price, they're all 0. And percent issued, it's 82.97%. All right. Now, <clears throat> if you're looking for, for example, you like um, a specific token or coin. And it's not here in the first part of the sheet. So instead of just scrolling down, down, down and looking for that specific name, you can just simply um, uh, on your keyboards, you can just simply click Control F and then type down the name of your favorite token or coin. Now, for example, EOS. So type down EOS and then here. So we have EOS. Now for EOS, it's also showing the best news because it's colored blue. Now, recent price of EOS again for December 15, it's 1.83690422. Share of total market volume, it's 4.92%. Google searches compared to the past seven days, 93%. It's also crossing down 50 number of positive technical indicators three now to 24 24 hours seven days and 30 days volume versus price zero like bitcoin and percent issued it's 90.06 percent right so see how convenient would that be if you have donald's research list right you don't need to um open a lot of websites and to give a lot of time or spend a lot of time in researching what are the status of these following tokens and coins because it's all in here in donald's research list right okay now guys if you have questions concerns or whatever you want to you know to let us know about um, on the website or I prefer currency.news, you can find the Donald's, um, Donald's contact details. Now, um, you can contact him directly through his phone. His number is 1 801 601 8105. WhatsApp at 1 801 471 6939. You can add him on Skype, Donald.FCDA. For Twitter subscribers, you can follow him. That's at preferred crypto. Again, you can join our Telegram channel. That's preferred crypto.news. And you can send a private message to Donald on Telegram. That's at preferred crypto. Okay. Now, guys, that's it. Now, I don't want you to miss this opportunity, especially during a holiday season, right? Because we don't want to think a lot, but just to enjoy the holiday season, right? Now, grab this opportunity now. Grab this offer. So again, preferredcurrency.news is the name. So thank you so much all for watching. This has been Alex now signing off. Bye.